Can you spot the difference between a real banknote and a fake? It's not that easy. Counterfeiting is a major problem everywhere in the world. In Russia, India, China, America. Just in Europe, they capture about 700,000 counterfeit banknotes every year. The question is, how can you actually counterfeit something when the government spends so much effort to make security features? There is a hologram, there's color-changing ink, there's a watermark. A bill, it turns out, is a bustling collection of security features. The problem is that people almost never take notice of these security devices. We just take bills and we pass them along. So some years ago, the European Central Bank contracted me as a neuroscientist to figure out how to make a better bill. So I ran studies to figure out what people actually notice and what they don't. So what were my conclusions? First, the watermark on a euro is always a piece of architecture, but because it's typically forged by hand, the watermark should be a face. Hello there. Why? Because the human brain is specialized to recognizing faces. We can tell if something is just a little bit off. The next thing is that all denominations should be exactly the same size. That way people have to look at them for just a second longer while they're trying to figure out what they're holding. And my third main conclusion is this. Notes are packed with all sorts of distractions that have nothing to do with the security. Flowers, patriots, birds, flags, colors. I suggest that a note should be a blank piece of paper with a single hologram in the middle, and that's it. It's not clear that any country is going to take this advice right away because there's a lot of momentum in how we expect money to look. But if we really want to tackle counterfeiting, we're going to need to transcend tradition and understand how brains actually work.